Right, cool. Right, today we're going to be talking about a new to us device, a bit of a game changer, I've got to be honest. It's the Brown Box by Ampar X. Let's turn this on. Beautiful. Look at that. So the, the Brown Box is basically a voltage attenuator. So I'm sure you've all heard of attenuators before, but normally in the guitar world, we're generally talking about wattage attenuators. So this is a voltage attenuator and we're going to get kind of down into the weeds with this one today. And apologies, you know, I want to put it right at the start. This is going to be a bit of a longie. It's not going to win YouTube video of the year or, or anything like that because when we get to the demo section later, it's going to become quite repetitive. So the brown box is basically a voltage attenuator. So a lot of the time, amplifiers in the UK anyway, uh, are designed to run anywhere between sort of 220 to 240 volts and the and the voltage in the UK now is 230 but we still see uh, guitar amps coming in that have 220 volt stickers on 230 and 240 so we'll talk about what the actual UK voltage is in a bit but in a nutshell what this unit does is it measures the voltage that comes out of the wall and it just helps you select the right voltage for for the amplifier basically so the amp can run at the right level and you know basically have the best sound possible. What you can also do with the brown box is, which is something that we'll touch on a little bit later as well, is almost use it like a variac, which is something that Eddie Van Halen used to do. So you can really lower the voltage and it then almost kind of drops the, the volume level a little bit of the amplifier as well. So the main difference is between a voltage attenuator and then something like a, you know, a Marshall power brake, Fry at power station, Dr. Z air brake, that kind of thing, is a power attenuator goes between the amplifier part and the speaker. And essentially what it does is it just lowers the signal that's going out to the speaker. So you can crank your amp up and uh, the, the volume that comes out of the speaker is much lower. So you can turn the amp up, get some extra gain, you know, get it to break up a bit more without it being so loud. Easy. So the voltage attenuator, what we're doing with that is you're measuring the, the output from the wall and then just fine tuning it for, uh, for what the amp needs to run at its optimum levels. So that can have a massive difference to the tone, which is what we're gonna hear later on in the video as well. Okay, so the voltage in the UK is 230 volts, as you can see on the screen here when I consulted Google earlier. Um, I think the biggest game-changing thing for me when we first plugged this in was when we came into the studio, it was measuring about 246 volts. And that really immediately solved the issue that we sometimes have where I'd come in here and I'd, you know, I'd hear Aaron playing and, and I'd just be thinking, what on earth has he done to the sound? It sounds really thin today. And, you know, and then the next day we'd come back in and think, oh yeah, you know, everything's all back to normal. It's just kind of one of those things. I think the biggest thing is like at the moment, as well where we've got like where it's you know we've shot this in december time so all the heaters are on there's loads more things using up the mains voltage in the summer when we was coming in here you know when we first got the our sample brown box like i said we was going out about 246 volts and the difference when we first plugged the brown box in to get it down to 230 it was just i mean it's just absolutely mind-blowing the difference in tone and it also just reduced the volume level down a little bit and the, the high end was just so much nicer and it, and, the, and it just made the amps just sound so much better and sort of kind of uh, solved that mystery of, of uh, the, uh, the tone changing on a, on a daily, weekly basis. So it was really a game changer in that regard. Like I said earlier, you know, there's, there's a lot of, um, uh, there's a ton of content on the internet about Eddie Van Halen and the fact that he used a, a variac to, to lower the voltage uh, of the amps that he was using, like the old Marshalls, etc. But I think from what I from what I've read, and the you know, apologies, the EVH experts will know way better than me, but he originally used the variac to just really just try and reduce the volume and the initial like spikiness of the tone of those Marshalls, you know, just to just to bring the volume down and soften up the EQ. And this is something that can be done with the brown box as well. So you're probably thinking, you know, why is all of this important? You know, if the amp can run, 
you know, at the wall voltage, why should I bother, you know, trying to fine tune it? I mean, you know, like I said earlier, you know, this video is going to be for customers out there, you know, that do spend hours and hours A, B in guitar cables and seeing if they can hear the difference between buffered bypass, true bypass, all these other kind of little things that like, we're all, as guitar players, we're kind of cursed with. Wouldn't it be great to just go into, you know, guitar store, plug in the guitar and go, yeah, great, that sounds it, and then just go and gig it. But we all know that like the, uh, all these little things are all part of the fun, what keeps us uh, really interested in all of this kind of stuff. So for me, it was, uh, you know, just an absolute game changer anyway. I know I keep saying it, but it is, it is awesome. You'd have to try it for yourself. But uh, one of the things that I found on the Brown Box website, which you can see on the screen here, so voltage optimization helps to protect your investments. Lower internal voltages equal lower dissipation, which equal longer component life stop blowing up your favorite amplifier. I mean, if that's not an incentive, then, uh, then I kind of, I don't know what is. There's been times in the past as well where we've had, we've had customers, and I've, I've experienced it myself, where for absolutely no reason at all, an amp's blown a fuse. And we could never figure these, these things out. You put a new fuse in and it'd be good for, for days and days and months, and it just would never happen again. So this fuse blowing, uh, you know, event, I'm sure could be prevented by, you know, fine tuning the voltage, going to the amplifier so you don't have any of these nasty peaks if it does increase, uh, you know, by a few volts. You know, you think, like I said earlier, when we first plugged it in and we were at 246 volts, if you then get a spike in voltages as well, you could, you know, the amplifier should be running at 230. You could be getting anything up to 250, which probably does explain a lot of the, uh, the fuse fuse blowing events that are happening. So I'm sure anybody watching this, you know, that's had really nice tube amps and valve amps and stuff might have experienced that in the past as well. So the fact that you can fine tune the voltage is obviously super duper important in terms of the consistency of the rooms that you play in. You know, back in the day when I used to go out and play quite a lot of gigs and we did a few tours and stuff like that, you know, I'd, I'd be playing one night and be like, oh yeah, the tone is like absolutely on point. Go to the next night. And, and it sound really thin or the amp's breaking up too much. And I just wish I'd have had a brown box back then just to check the wall voltage because really that was the, the only thing that possibly could have changed, you know, in between, you know, those pl playing those gigs, those nights, because I'd put, you know, uh, we, I'd have my power supply for my pedal board. I'd have, uh, you know, a fresh set of strings on the guitar and it, you know, in theory, you know, the venues, I know you're going to get different acoustics in different rooms, but as a guitar player, you can, it's not always just like the tone that's coming out of the amp, the, it's the feel, you know, and if the amp's breaking up too much or it's not breaking up enough, then there's, you know, you just don't play as well. So being able to fine tune that voltage from room to room, from gig to gig, for me is important. And it's, you know, even though you can make the, you know, these fine tune, these adjustments and bring the voltage right down, for me personally, I just want to know that I'm getting consistent tone every night so I can play at my, my best and, you know, I need all the help I can get. So if you can fine tune the voltage, get it all right and your rig is sounding as good as possible, then everyone's a winner. If you were sat here in the room with us and we just went through a few of the settings, you'd just be like, done, I'm going to buy one. It's amazing. It sounds brilliant. But kind of under the, under the microscope of the internet, uh, we just thought the best way for us to demo this unit would basically be Aaron's going to play a loop, we're going to load it into a, a Line 6 looper, and then what we're going to do is we're going to play the loop completely bypassed, so the brown box will be bypassed, and then we're going to go down one click, and then we'll go back to the original bypassed uh, version of the voltage, and then gradually go down a click each time. So. Like I said, it's not going to be, uh, you know, you're not going to come out of this one thinking, oh, you know, it's the best gear demo, demo I've ever seen. The guys like absolutely wailing and doing all that kind of stuff. It's all about consistency here. So you can hear the exact same thing played every time we go down a click. So when you get, when we get down to that last click, you'll really hear the difference, even if you're, you know, watching this video on a, on a phone or, or whatever. So I think it's going to, well, I know it does. When we get down to that last click, you're gonna hear a massive difference in volume and also the high end is just so much sweeter, which is you know, why I know a lot of our customers that have been buying brown boxes already, they really like that 
you know, the, the, the lower voltage levels. So uh, I've already recorded this video once and I watched it back and I thought, I just didn't mention a load of the things that are so great about this, this product. And, you know, even now as I've recorded this one, I'm thinking, oh, you know, I know I'm going to watch it back again and, and really wish I'd mentioned this. But otherwise, if I keep going back and doing it, this video is going to end up being three hours long. So in a nutshell, basically what the brown box is, it's a, it just helps you fine tune the voltage so your amp is operating on the correct voltage for how it was designed. So for it to sound at its optimum tone, volume and gain structures, you need to have it at the right voltage rather than being, you know, nearly five, ten percent more because of uh, the spike in the uh, the wall voltages, you know, that's that's coming into the brown box or into your amplifier. So I know I've waffled, and apologies if I've made it more confusing than it than it should be. But um, it's quite a quite a hard product to demo without going into too many kind of uh, technical things and stuff, and you know, and then it would be just even more confusing and even more confusing to me, and I'd forget it all. But what I would say is, if you've got a high quality amp and you want to prolong the life and get the best possible tone, then buy a brown box. I should have just said that at the start and we could have skiffed all this, all this, uh, all this waffling. So anyway, I'm going to pass you over to Aaron now. Please, if you've got any questions, I know there's going to be some stuff that I've left out here. Please, please obviously leave a comment. Please like, share, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, good luck in your search for the tone. Cheers. Bye-bye.